My favorite thing to do is to speak to aspiring actors and theater students. That's because when I was an aspiring actor and a theater student, I wanted more than anything to have access to people who were working in the industry that I so desperately wanted to be a part of. And I just want to give other people that access. I want to be able to sit down with theater students and ask and give them 90 minutes of my time to ask me any question that might be on their mind about how to go from where they are now to where they want to be. When you're pursuing an artistic career in particular, you have to embrace that part of you that's a little crazy and a little delusional. That part of you that really deep down does believe that you can make it, but kind of everything from outside of you is telling you you can't. You have to focus in on that voice in you that says, no, I think I can, I, I think I can do this. And you have to be your own biggest cheerleader and no one's gonna believe in you as much as you believe in yourself, not even your mom. So um, somewhere you have to create this unstoppable belief in yourself. And that belief will be tested time and time and time and time again. And you also have to know that you're choosing a path that's not a straight line. And so you can't expect the spoils of a conventional career when you're choosing an unconventional one. So in a conventional job, if you show up and you work above and beyond people's expectations, you'll probably get raises and you'll probably get promoted. And it doesn't work that way in the artistic field. You can do a wonderful job and then it's completely forgotten. Um, and then, you know, you can have a horrible performance and it doesn't mean you're not gonna work again. So it's, it, it's a very different set of rules that can be very, um, hard to manage. And I think it's it's hard to watch your friends who have chosen a more conventional career path do things like get married and have nice dishes and have nice sheets and then you still sleep on a futon mattress on the floor six years out of college. Benchmarks for success in a career like this. You have to say, okay, I'm still sleeping on the floor, but I got six callbacks this month. So you, you create different ways that you're succeeding that don't look like the way society tells you you're succeeding. I wanted to be an actor and I could have chosen to go to an acting conservatory where all I did was study on stage acting performance work. Well, I got to study on stage performance work here, but I also learned how to light a stage, how to stage manage, how to build a set, how to break down a set. I choreographed a show. I learned about every element in a hands-on way about how a production goes together. And I think it made me smarter in the long run when it came to a career in the arts, because I was able to fully appreciate how incredibly collaborative making a film or making a TV show or, or making a play really is. Um, I've always been really close with the crew members on my productions. I'm fascinated by their jobs and how it all comes together. Um, and I think that some of that is because of being at Truman and being exposed to all of those things, that that was part of my education. But then even the things that Truman couldn't give me actually helped prepare me for my career. So Truman did not have a film and television department. I got no on-camera experience at Truman um, in a formal way. Because of that, on the weekends, on the side, members of the theater department, we would film ourselves and edit and produce and write our own little shows. Like we made little TV shows and um, we made a send up, uh, a, we made a sitcom called KPD Blues, which was a satire of the Kirksville Police Department. And, um, and we did like a, a funny little bit that was like a takeoff on 90210, which was like this popular show at the time when I went to school here. Um, that right there served me so well moving to Los Angeles because a big part of what contributed to my success were all of the ways that I created my own work. Uh, the ways that I wrote and produced and directed my own plays, my own showcase opportunities, getting together with friends and making short films, all of that sort of stuff. Like I'd already been doing that here at Truman, but it wasn't for any class. It was because we got the skill of filling in the gaps. 
So it was like what Truman didn't have, it still, it gave me something better. And, and that, no one hands you a career in this industry. Like you have to make it for yourself. And I was already used to doing that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I did that with my friends in college. Like we figured that out.